I have a significant question for you today. It's a very important question. Who killed Jesus Christ? Who's guilty of the death of Jesus Christ? Well, you would say, well, certainly it's the Roman soldiers. They killed Jesus. They drove the nails in his hands and his feet and hung him up on a cross. They crucified him. They killed Jesus. And I would say to you, yes, that's right. But no, technically it's right, but not necessarily. You say, well then, it must have been Pontius Pilate. He's the one that gave the order to the Roman soldiers to kill Jesus. He gave the order for him to be crucified. I would say yes. Technically, he did give the order. He is responsible, but no, not exactly. You say, well, it's the crowd. They're the ones that when given a choice by Pilate, they, they forced his hand. He was just doing what they said when they cried out, crucify him, crucify him. It was the crowd of people there that day. They're the ones guilty of the death of Jesus. And I would say yes, but not exactly. You say, well, then it has to be the Jewish leaders. I mean, they're the ones that plotted this whole thing, planned it out planted false witnesses to lie about him and his trials. They're the ones that, that twisted Pilate's arm to get him killed. It's the, it's the Jewish leaders. They're the ones guilty of the death of Jesus. And I would say yes and no, not necessarily. You said then, then it's Judas, because you see Judas was one of the disciples and he betrayed Jesus over to the Jewish leaders who gave him over to Pontius Pilate, who gave the crowd the choice and, and they said crucify him and Pilate said, gave the order to the soldiers and they killed him, but it all goes back to the Jewish leaders and Judas who they bribed to betray him. I would say, yeah, I mean, Judas is guilty. In fact, he knew he was guilty, he killed himself because of it. Yeah, he's guilty, but, but not necessarily. You say, well, then it's got to be the devil. Scripture says the devil filled his heart to do this. Certainly the devil filled the hearts of all these people, the Jewish leaders, the crowd, Pilate, the, the soldiers who were merciless in their, their mockery and, and scorn of Jesus. The devil filled all their hearts. This was his greatest achievement, his greatest career accomplishment, the death of Jesus Christ. Satan is the one that killed Jesus. I would say yes, but not necessarily. You say, well then, who killed Jesus? Well, it says in the book of Isaiah that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was placed upon him. It's with his stripes that were healed. Jesus died for you and for me. I can say this, my sins that nailed Jesus on the cross. And it was your sins that nailed Jesus on the cross. You see, if we hadn't sinned, he would have never left heaven and became a, a human. If we, he, we had not sinned, he would have never needed to be crucified. It goes back to us. It goes back to our sin. We're the ones who killed Jesus. I would say yes, but the responsibility is not entirely ours. You see, Isaiah... 53 verse 10 says it pleased the Lord to crush him, to punish him for our sins. You see what happened on that day is God the Father, the Holy Father took all the sins of all the people of all the world and placed them on his son, Jesus Christ, as a sacrifice, not a martyr, but a sacrifice for our sins. Jesus experienced death and separation from his father. For the first time in, in universal eternity, the son was forced to say to the father, not my father, 
but my God, my God, you have forsaken me. And he died that day for our sins at the hands ultimately of the Father who could have rescued him just like that. You see, right now an amazing thing is going on. The light bulb just went off in your head, the Holy Spirit just went off in your heart, and you're understanding what the gospel is all about. God judged your sin on Jesus Christ so that by faith in Him you can be born again. Today, right now, some of you are going to cross the finish line of faith and you're going to be born again through faith in Jesus Christ. It's simple. It's a matter of ABC. It's admitting that you have sinned and your sin was part of killing Jesus and it's believing that he died for your sins. It's believing that he rose from the dead and it's calling upon him to save you and committing your life to serve him. Will you do that right now? I'm going to lead you in a prayer. I'm encouraging you to repeat it after me. And if you do, God is listening. Father in heaven, tell him that. Father in heaven, I admit that I have sinned. I admit I cannot save myself. I admit it was my sin that killed, helped kill Jesus. I believe Jesus Christ never sinned. I believe Jesus Christ died for my sins. Right now, I call on the name of the Lord Jesus to save me. Come into my life, fulfill, forgive my sins. I commit my life to you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, and go back and re rewind this and watch it, pray that prayer with me, make a comment there and say, I just trusted Jesus as my Savior. God bless you.